Good morning. Hey everybody, good morning. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Another absolutely beautiful day here in paradise at the beach at Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park in North Naples, Florida. Beautiful blue sky, the water picking up the blue sky, gorgeous colors out here. Had a wonderful visit with Roy this morning. He's so, so excited that he's being discharged on Friday. That is such wonderful news. Friday at 11 a.m., Roy is being discharged and heading home. I just couldn't resist coming by the beach here after getting that news and then seeing that great article in the Naples Daily News. And then this morning, not only is it in online, but it's on the front page of the Naples Daily News, the print copy. So Roy made the front page. And it's a great article. I mean, it really explains in depth what Roy had, what happened to Roy. And Roy is very fortunate. If you read that article, Roy is very fortunate to be with us. It's amazing, quite a few people have died from that flesh-eating bacteria. So it's obvious that the Lord's got plans for Roy. He wants him here with us a little while longer. For those of you that are new to these beach walks, this is where I would sit with Roy and have our little conversations in the morning right under these pine trees here. This is Area 4 Beach. This is Roy's spot. Now he might be changing spots. He might not be here in Area 4. We might be finding a better spot for him. But he does have a bench right back under these trees that he had placed here in memory of his late wife Audrey with a little plaque on it. It's beautiful. There's actually a couple people sitting on it right now taking advantage of the beautiful view. That's why Roy had it put there. I was going to show you the plaques, but maybe when I leave we'll be able to see those. I can't wait for him to be out here. He's such a big part of my morning beach walks. Our little conversations, him singing, playing his harmonica, sharing his wisdom, or sometimes sharing a joke with us. It's so nice to have him back out here. And it's been about three years now since I've known Roy, and I just met him out here on the beach doing these beach walks. And we just built our friendship from there. I liked hearing his stories. Our friends watching liked hearing his stories. And it just expanded and expanded. Now Roy has become a local celebrity. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful, beautiful out here this morning. Kind of late for shelling, late in the morning. And it is high tide. The tide is just about all the way up here right now. That was it's always a highlight of my beach walk, finding some nice shells. I've seen some dolphins swim by. Here's the top, the top of a banded tulip shell right here. Beautiful shells. This is just the top of it. But no matter how many times I come out here, it's always something different. You just never know what you're gonna stumble across out here. But we've been, oh, 
a couple weeks ago, we our water just started clearing up. We were dealing with a horrible red tide out here, horrible red tide. It seemed to last forever. Now the water is clearing up. It's not quite back to 100% here, but it's way better. People are back swimming at the beach. The, the birds are back. There was no life out here for over a month. There were no birds, no fish, no people. It was just absolutely horrible. Now life is finally returning, including Roy. It's kind of interesting how the whole time the whole time Roy wasn't able to, to come to the beach nobody was coming to the beach anyway it's not like he missed anything and now that he's getting released and he'll be back here soon the beach is returning to normal what a coincidence there's a lot of we're having a lot of problems with the water in southwest Florida a lot of people are getting red tide confused with the lake o releases with that horrible toxic green algae that has been coming out of the lake. That's not what red tide is. Red tide is something totally different. And that's not what happened to Roy. Roy got the flesh eating bacteria for going swimming in the water with an open wound. You should never do that. You shouldn't even go in a swimming pool with an open cut. But Roy, being 93 years old, he doesn't listen to anybody. He's figured he's 93, he knows it all. You can't argue with him. So he went in and guess what? That bacteria went in through that wound and it got a hold of him and it was a horrible, horrible mess for the past month, but thank goodness he's recovering and he'll be back out here on the beach with us. But I'll tell you what, read that article in the Naples Daily News, in today's Naples Daily News, it was published online last night at seven. I'm gonna share a link to it again a little later. I took a picture of Roy this morning up at Solaris holding the newspaper up. I'll share that picture and I'll post the link to the article great article it's very educational kind of shocking but as beautiful as the water may look just remember there's some there's always something out there some kind of bacteria especially in the Gulf it's so warm you can see how calm it is it's not like the other side of Florida with the big waves so this is kind of a breeding ground for little germs. Now, are they gonna get you? Probably not, probably not. The odds of what happened to Roy happening to you are one in a gazillion. But just use some common sense when you come out to the beach. If you go swimming, shower off. I always suggest people go to a marina or something or a place like Bass Pro Shops and get some soap that you would use for camping or for on a boat something that's biodegradable you know environmentally friendly a soap and use some soap when you shower off here at the beach it's better to be safe than sorry wear goggles keep your mouth shut when you're out there swimming <laughs> it's just all common sense by no means should you be afraid to go in the water Cautious? Yes. Afraid? No. And you can see there's tons of shells along the beach here. It's a good idea to wear some shoes. Wear some beach slippers. I should take my own advice. I'm always out here barefoot. Here's a little piece of a moon shell. I saw this eye of a moon shell just looking up at me on the beach. Moon shells are so cool. I'd like to find a nice hole in there to show it to you. They also call these shark eyes because of that eye right there. Beautiful shells, the moon shells. We are just blessed with 
so much beauty here in Southwest Florida. I mean, we have a little bit of both worlds here. Not only do we have the beautiful coastline and the beaches, but we also have the Everglades. Don't forget about our Everglades when you come down here. Definitely worth going out there, taking your camera, take some binoculars, especially in the winter time when all of our seasonal birds are down here. The wood storks, oh, beautiful. Bird watching is tremendous out in the Everglades. And then of course we have our snowbirds. <laughs> They'll be coming down before you know it. All of our snowbirds will be returning. We couldn't survive without them. That's what keeps our economy going in Southwest Florida. All of our winter residents, part-time residents, they come down to escape the cold weather from up north. Yesterday morning, right about here, I was talking to our friend Ron and saw some nice three big snook. This came swimming up, just slowly gliding through the water. Three really large snook. Another, another great sign that things are returning to normal here. I'd love to see a dolphin out here. I haven't seen one for the past few mornings. They're out here, they've been spotted throughout the day. Yeah, they're on their own schedule, not mine, but it's always fun. That's always a highlight of a beach walk, spotting a dolphin. Spotting a dolphin and chatting with Roy. The two most fun parts of my morning beach walks. If you've never joined us for a beach walk, if you're new here, be sure to let everybody know where you're watching from. Sure to hit the share button so your friends can follow along with us and be sure to like and follow southwest florida television do both like and follow if you like what you're watching southwest florida television is not a tv station that's just the name of my facebook page here by the way i'm rob stan that's my name, Rob Stan, and this is one of my Facebook pages, Southwest Florida Television. But I do have some videos playing in some of our local hotels. That's where, that's kind of what I use the name Southwest Florida Television for. It is kind of a TV station. It's a TV channel in some of our local hotels. But isn't that beautiful? That is an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous view right there this morning. So gorgeous that I'm gonna pause here for a second and take a quick photo, so don't go anywhere. Okay, I'm back. Again, that's where our friend Roy would be sitting right up there under those trees on the beach he'll be back soon probably not sitting out directly on the beach with me yet we'll probably be up on one of the boardwalks but he's going to be out here that's going to be fun it's going to be a glorious glorious morning when we get the return of roy look at these three little sandpipers down here just kind of checking me out they fit right in the palm of my hand they're so tiny <laughs> there they go scurrying up the beach beautiful colors out here beautiful blue sky Blue green of the water.
Look how nice and clear the water is right here. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. A little waves breaking here. There's a dolphin. I just saw a dolphin pop up. Keep your eyes peeled. I just saw a dolphin out here. I don't know which way he's heading. He's heading to the right. Let's see if he comes up again. I just saw, there he is. I just saw his fin. Did you see him out there? He's moving along kind of fast. Where'd he go? Let's see if we see him again. There he is. Did you, were you able to see him? Pelican flying by. Pretty far out there. Just one. It looks like just one dolphin. Might surface around where that white marker is. In between us and that white marker. Keep your eyes peeled. Where'd he go? There. Oh. I don't know if he showed up on the screen there. He's to the left. Keep looking. He just popped up again. Where'd you go, bud? Probably a male. Where did he go? Well, he's moving along here. I don't think he's going to come in close to shore. He's staying offshore. Where'd he go? Ooh, there's two of them way far out there. Three. Three just popped up. They're pretty far offshore. Oh, they're having a ball. They're playing out there. I don't know if we're going to be able to see them. They're really far out. I cannot see the screen, so I hope they're out there somewhere. I hope you get a peek at them here if they pop up. There was three of them out there. Did you see that one just come up? Two of them just slapped its tail. Two of them just popped up. One slapped its tail. Can you see them out there? They're playing around chasing, trying to school some fish. Let's see if they come up again. Never know where they're gonna pop up. Oh, now they're now they're over. One, two, three, four. I think there was four of them out there. Now they're heading back down the beach. I hope there's one. Ooh, that was a big male. Did you see that? That was a big male up closer to us. The big male's in close, and there's three out a little further. See the, see the male there? Did you see his fin come up? the female and two babies, I think. Three. Oh my gosh, there's four out further. And the big male was up closer. There's the male just came up. I know it's hard to see. That is so cool. There I was talking about seeing the dolphins. And there they are. I just hope you're able to see them. That's Roy and I's favorite thing right there is watching the dolphins. They're heading back down the beach now. That is so cool. Out in that flat spot out there. They're getting a little far away from me now. Wow. What a great morning. I always say we're going to have good luck when we spot a dolphin in the morning. Not only did we spot a dolphin, we saw, I don't know if there's four or five of them. We saw quite a few of them. Awesome. Hey, here's one. Here's a cool shell. My screen has gone black here on this iPhone. 
because of the bright sun, but this is a worm shell. These are really cool. I always find them really fascinating, these worm shells. Usually you just find the little tip of them, but this has a nice little piece of the shell attached to it. They're fun to collect. Just something interesting to talk about if you have a jar full of them. You find lots of interesting shells here at the beach. Some mornings, I only wind up with one or two shells in my pocket. Other mornings, I don't have enough room in my pockets. Like I said, there's always something different, something new here at the beach. All the birds flying by. Wow, here's a piece of, just a piece of a big apple murex shell, what's left of an apple murex. These are beautiful shells. This is obviously a broken one. You can still get an idea of what it might look like, an apple murex. Boy, that would be in a, have been a really nice find to find one of these intact, that size, for this beach. An apple murex. You know what? There's a paddle border out here. A lot of times, those dolphins are down to the south here. A lot of times, those dolphins get curious about the paddle borders. I'm going to try to find a shady spot to get into where I can see the screen. The dolphins are just down here to the south. A lot of times, they'll come over and swim around the paddle borders. I want to find a spot in the shade where I can see my phone screen. Hopefully the dolphins will stick around here. Hopefully they'll want to go see this guy on the paddleboard. They did it once before. The same person too, as a matter of fact. I think he's wearing the same shirt. Dolphins are over here to the south. They might come over here and check them out if they hear them coming. I don't know where they are now. They were right out here. The dolphins were out here playing around. Just swimming around. See if they check out this paddle border. They've been known to do that. I wish I could get you closer, but I am blind here. I cannot even see the screen. It has just gone dark. The dolphins are still down to the south. I don't know if you can see the dolphins down there. 
out by those markers. I'm staying just ahead of the paddle border. Darn it. A lot of times they get really close. I mean, they'll come right around up to the paddle borders. But they're just still, no, they're still out here. I see the dolphins out there. Just between me and that marker out there. The paddle boarders getting close to them. There is one of them. I don't know if you can see him out there. I hope I have him in the frame. There they are. They're right. He's right in with the dolphins right now. See him? They just popped right up. Watch. They were just just came right up next to him. He doesn't, he doesn't see them on the paddle board. They're behind you. <laughs> oh, I'm surprised they didn't follow him. A lot of times they'll follow him, but keep watching out in the water. You'll see the dolphins surface again. They're between me and those big puffy clouds out there. That's the male. That was the big one. That was the male there for sure. That is the male swimming around there. I hope you can see him. I'm doing the best I can with an iPhone. I guess the mama and the babies swim on ahead. There's a lot of fish out there. I see the water. There's a lot of fish. It's definitely churning out there. Okay, he's going down to the south. He's following down behind the paddle border. Now I lost him. There he is. That is so, so cool. What an absolutely beautiful sight to see dolphins. Definitely means our water is cleaning up here. Where'd he go? It's right between me and the paddle border, I think. I see some bubbles in the water. Where'd he go? Did he turn around? Oop, he's staying. The dolphin is hanging out here by the marker. Let's see if he comes up again. That's definitely the male. That's a big one out there. I don't know if you can see him. I know it's hard. We're a long ways away. We definitely have a dolphin. We've had seen quite a few dolphins this morning. That is awesome. Where did he go? There he is. Very, very cool. He was headed towards that white buoy over there. There he goes. What a glorious sight, huh? That's what our friend Roy always says, glorious. Glorious, glorious. Isn't that beautiful, those clouds out there? 
Absolutely beautiful. Well, I gotta get out of this zoom mode here. Oh, he came back. Now he's back out here in front of me. He's, there's a lot, there's big schools of fish out here. All of our fish are returning, so the dolphins are having a smorgers board out there. So it becomes, it was just to the right of that buoy. See where he is now. Where'd he go? Just to the right of it. A little further out than the buoy, than that round buoy there. You can see those little ripples out there? That's the waves breaking on the sandbar out there. All right, one more time. Where'd you go? Where did you go? Sometimes they race right into shore here and get really close. I don't think that's going to happen this morning. I don't know where he went. He's staying under for a while. Oh, he's way out there now. Way, way out there. All right. We made it down to area three following the dolphin. That was fun. That was fun. Give you a look up to the north here. Just beautiful. What a great experience, huh? You know what's so neat is people watching these videos, they, a lot of them tell us that they have never been to the beach in their life. And this is the closest that they have ever gotten to the beach. Isn't that amazing? That is so cool. Morning. I love this place. I think you can understand why. There's two little snowy egrets, two of our fairly common little shorebirds here, the little snowy egrets walking along. There's a few more up ahead of me. Just looking for a bite to eat. And this water is just teeming, teeming with little fingerlings, little tiny fish, a couple inches long, one to two inches long. And seagull just came by and grabbed one. Give you a look around again at our little piece of paradise here in North Naples, Florida. looking down to the south, down towards the city of Naples, actually. This is almost on the county line here. We're up in North Naples. Hey, if you're just tuning in, be sure to let everybody know where you're watching from. We're kind of like one big happy family here. One big happy beach family. A lot of people share their little stories with each other. If people are having a hard time or feel free if you're not feeling good or a family member is not feeling good and you need some prayers, post it here in the comments. Let everybody know. We're here for each other. That's what this is all about. The beach is just the background here for us. All the little birds.
beautiful out here. Doing some filming out here. How are you? Doing well, thank you. All about yourself. Great, beautiful. Okay, have a nice day. Yep, beautiful. Gorgeous. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. I'm just working too. Okay. I can do whatever I want on this beach, but you're doing a great job. Beautiful. <laughs> she owns the beach. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful here. Gorgeous as we look around. Come to my beach <laughs> telling me what to do. That's a good one. This is beautiful. I'd love, I don't know if I can show you these fish down here. As soon as they get in the water, they all swim away. But there are just thousands and thousands and thousands of little fish swimming around here little two inch bait fish and of course when i step in the water they all swim away from me but that's what all the little the birds are feeding on the seagulls even the bigger fish we got a lot of jacks big schools of jacks coming by snook coming by and it's We've been seeing some, I guess you'd call them feeding frenzies out here over the past, oh, week. We hadn't seen that in a long time. I mean, the water looks like it's boiling, just churning out here. Absolutely incredible sights. And I do have some video of that. You need to take some time and go back and check out all of my videos. Got some great photos here. Great, some nice up close photos of some of these birds out here. You really, really need to just take some time and go into my videos here on this Facebook page and just do a search in my videos when you're on my page in the video, search for dolphin encounters or just search for dolphins. Roy and I have had a couple just incredible encounters with dolphins here. Just up close, right up, I mean, almost beaching themselves. Just absolutely amazing. This is kind of one of my favorite spots up here in Area 4. Got a nice big chunk of beach. This is actually all new, this beach out here in front of me. All relatively new. A big fish just jumped out of the water right over here, just I'm leaping up. Beautiful as we look down to the south there. Just gorgeous. 
If you look closely there, you can see the condos in the middle of the screen. That's the Park Shore area of Naples, right there in the middle. That's, I don't know, probably halfway between me right here and the Naples Pier to the south of it. Naples Pier, that's definitely a landmark in old Naples. That's where a lot of people go to take in the sunsets, the Naples Pier. And you can also fish off the pier and you don't need a fishing license. It's one of the few places you can fish without a fishing license. The city of Naples has a blanket license that covers everyone fishing on the pier. So that's kind of a nice little perk if you're into fishing. A lot of times up in these these pine trees here, if you look up in the tops of them, that's where osprey hang out, ospreys. Beautiful birds. People get them mixed up with bald eagles. They look kind of similar. I don't see any up there. But you gotta always remember to look up when you're walking out here on the beach. It's more than just pretty shells, shells and dolphins. Even back in off the beach here at Del Norwegans, there's a nice little trail that parallels the beach, a pathway, and you see some really interesting birds back there, and every once in a while, some little rabbits and raccoons. But the other thing that's nice here, there's a mile of beach here at Del Norwegans. There's, back on that trail, there's uh, barbecue grills and picnic benches scattered all along the beach all along the beach. Oh, there's a sad sight down here. A little dead fish, a little puffer fish down there. This is an ugly reminder of the red tide. There's a lot of, a lot of dead fish out on the bottom, on the floor of the gulf offshore and the tides are occasionally going to be washing in these dead fish that they've all were victims of the red tide just an ugly reminder of what we had to deal with oh it was terrible folks and i was out here for that too a lot of people didn't like seeing it seeing all the dead fish but I don't want to just, I'm not here for tourism. I'm here to share this beach with you and everything that happens here. I'll show you the good and the bad. Sometimes the bad is kind of hard to swallow. Another dead fish. It's like a little dead snapper. What a shame. What a shame. Look at those colors, that is just spectacular. Just absolutely incredible, the blues. The blues and the greens. So blessed to be able to call this place home. Looking north. Look at all the condos up there. Can you see the condos on the beach? You can see all the way up to Fort Myers Beach from here. Amazing. Absolutely beautiful. Some little white puffy clouds out there in the Gulf of Mexico.
Sorry, sorry, that was just me snapping off a couple photos. Let me give you one more look around here, and then I gotta sign off. Again, I'm gonna post a link to that article about Roy in the Naples Daily News a little later. Great story, great story if you haven't read it already. So check back. And if you didn't hear the good news, Roy is getting out. He's being discharged on Friday at 11 a.m. And he is one happy camper. He is very, very happy about that. I don't know how long it's gonna be before we see him out here, but he's taking the first step at least. He's getting out of Polaris. That's wonderful. Oh, we got to see some dolphins this morning. That was fantastic. That was wonderful getting to see some dolphins. I was just talking about dolphins and all of a sudden they appeared out there. That was incredible. Hey, be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Nobody pays me to do this. I enjoy doing it, but if you want to make a little donation or contribution every little bit helps out you can find my paypal account in the description of this post the conclusion of this live feed every little bit helps to those of you that sent a little something thank you so much well have a wonderful day wherever you might be watching from have a great wednesday happy hump day for Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.